serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high-fidelity, all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyrighted by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. as Blake Gasway and the crew are ready in the broadcast booth. Exclusive pregame coverage of Steven Star Softball is brought to you by Boone County Journal, Eddie Goodell Society, Han Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, Last Sentinel Firearms, Retrieving Freedom, and Sawdust Studios. The excitement is building in the stands, and the tension is rising in the dugout as first pitch is just around the corner. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Steven Star Softball on the Stars Radio Network, simulcast with video on Team One Sports. Now here's the voice of the Show Me Sports Network and the Stars Radio Network, Blake Gasaway. And a very pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Blake Gasaway here with you as we are just a few minutes away from getting Game two of our doubleheader here underway as the Steven Stars hosting the Missouri Baptist University Spartans in game two of two here today. First one was pretty much all Spartans as they won game one of the doubleheader by a final of eight to nothing. That was a run shortened game as we ended after six innings of play. So the Stars looking to split the doubleheader here and win the back half of the uh, contests between the two teams today. Today's senior day. They recognized several seniors between games as well as it's the uh, season finale and the home finale here for the 2020 campaign, the 2022 campaign, I should say, for the uh, Stars. As we'll get starters in just a second on the mound for the Stars, getting the start will be Clara Pyle, the sophomore from Piedmont, Oklahoma. She went to Piedmont High School. She's got the start for the Stars. For the uh, Spartans, they will start Shelby Severs. We'll get to her lines here in just a little bit. As leading off the game shortstop, Ellie Wessel, first pitch to her. is in there for all one, so it does not catch the strike zone. She'll be ahead in the count at 1-0. She started the game off the first game with a first pitch single into center field. That one also misses. That takes the count to 2-0. Then for Wessel. He's a senior from Trenton, Illinois. So 2-0 offering. That one's going to be a bouncing ball off the glove of Pyle. Nice grab at shortstop. Throw was offline as Adreno could not get the throw down to Throckmorton. So that'll be a leadoff single for Wessel. And she'll be on first base. Now this will be left fielder Megan Pfeiffer. As Pfeiffer steps in, left-handed batter. Pfeiffer, a senior from Edwardsville, Illinois. And they're going to go ahead and award Wessel to second base. So the ball ended up going into the dugout, so she advances to Second base. So Pyle's first offering to Pfeiffer. That one been outside. Across the strike zone, though. See, we're going to have probably a repeat of yesterday. Delayed, delayed strike calls. But the pitch did catch the zone as it went by. That one evens the count at one ball and one strike. So Wessel standing on second. Reached first, that was moved over to second with the E6. Now she'll lay down a bunt. That's going to go foul. Everybody will reset here. That'll take the count to one ball, two strikes. In the on-deck circle will be first baseman, 
In Colby break, then due up will be starting pitcher Shelby Seavers, designated player Haley Tate. She'll bat fifth, batting sixth, third base, Kaylee Morris. Catching batting seventh is Natalie Archer, batting eighth, playing right field. Get that in a minute. Again, another one hit back to Pyle. She knocks it down but cannot make a throw on it. So that'll be first and third now. So now this will be first baseman in Colby Brake. Same batting eighth in the lineup here is right fielder Isabel Schimler. And then a batting ninth, center fielder Molly McFeeders. On second base, a flex player in Jacqueline Stewart. To round out their lineup for the uh, Spartans. There's a ball hit into left field without a doubt. That is going to go over the fence as Brake now has home runs in her last two games. Two two-run shots. She had one last game, had this one almost the exact same spot. So she will go yard, clear the base path. This one for three runs as she sends that over the fence. So she gives her team an early three to nothing lead. So now this will be pitcher and Shelby Seavers. So Seavers will be stepping in. She's a senior from Popular Bluff, Missouri. Went to Poplar Bluff High School. The first pitch misses, ball one. Into the on-deck circle, Haley Taint, the designated player. And Spartans already have a 3-0 lead. They jumped out to a 2-0 lead last game. She'll be hit by pitch. So Seavers will jog down to first base to being hit with the softball. So still nobody out here. Fifth batter to come through the frame now. Designated player Haley Tate steps in. Tate from Eureka, Missouri. Went to Eureka High School. She is a junior. So first pitch to her. She's going to lift that one. Center field. Going over on it. And making the grab. Popped out of her glove, but she was able to get it on second Effort is Williams, so that'll be the first out of the inning. She had it popped out, but got it back. Now this will be third baseman Kaylee Morris. Morris, a sophomore from St. Charles, Missouri, played at Francis Howe Central High School. So first pitch to her, ball one. So Morris will dig back in in the on-deck circle catcher, Natalie Archer. 1-0 offering, forthcoming from Pyle. That one dropped in there. Even the count, one ball, one strike. And one out here in the top of the first inning. So Pyle looks back in. That one's... I didn't call it a strike, but I'd like to see if she went around. They'll peel it and say no. It is a stolen base, too, for Seavers. So two balls, one strike to count. That one's going to be a well-hit ball into center field. It'll take one bounce, get to Williams. She'll throw it home as throw is offline, and a run will score on an RBI double as Pyle coming in tripped over Garcia's catcher's mask. So Morris gets in the RBI parade as well, as she's got herself an RBI. So Seavers scores from second. Now this will be Natalie Archer, the catcher. First pitch to her, misses ball one. Seventh batter to come through the frame here so far. Archer, a freshman from Baldwin, Missouri, went to Park South High School. Next pitch, that one down central, called strike one. Even the count of one ball and one strike. And four runs put up here in the top of the first inning for the Spartans. They still just have one out. That one's going to be hit off the end of the bat. 
Coming over, making the grab is Thibodeau from third base. Route number two. Now this will be right fielder Isabella Schlimler. So Schlimler, a sophomore from Barnhart, Missouri, went to Seekman High School. So first pitch to her upstairs, ball one. The runner on second base, that's Morris having that RBI double. Schimler digs back in, 1-0 offering. She'll take a half-hearted swing at that, trying to put the brakes on, but could not stop her swing. That'll even count a one ball, one strike. Again, wind whipping around here at the ballpark, going right to left on your Upper Media Center, wherever you're listening, big swing and a miss there. That'll take the count to one ball and two strikes. So Pyle trying to get out of this inning, only allowing four runs. One of those hits that she gave up to, a three RBI home run. So one two offering on its way. That one's going to be lifted. Left field going back on it is Husky. And that one is. Going to bounce over her head, and it'll score another run as it'll be a two-out RBI double for Schimler. So that'll be another run scored. So now it's a five to nothing lead. Now this will be a center fielder Molly McFeeder stepping in. She's a sophomore from St. Louis, Missouri. Went to Webster Groves High School. First pitch to her called strike one. He's the ninth batter, so. The Spartans have batted around here in the top of the first inning. Two outs runner on second. That pitch a little high. So that'll leave in the count of one ball and one strike. Again, two outs here. Five runs plated for the Spartans. One one offering. That one outside. So that'll make it two balls and one strike. And Pyle, Clara Pyle on the mound. The sophomore is from Oklahoma. 2-1 offering. That one down central called strike two. So Pyle looking to get out of this. Inning here, she's one strike away. 2-2 offering. That one's going to be found back over our heads. So that'll still stay. Two balls and two strikes. And jogging back to second base is Schlimler. So Schlimmer. They're on second. That pitch bounces across home plate, gets away from Garcia. So Schlimmer will take third on a wild pitch. Now that'll take us full, three balls and two strikes. So Pyle again looking in, gets the sign from Garcia. Payoff pitch, that one's lifted foul. That goes down the third baseline, so we'll do it again. So McFeeder's still alive here. In ninth, batter to come through the frame here. We're going to have a quick conversation here on the mound. So that'll be a full count, three balls and two strikes. Again, two outs. So the conversation on the mound is done. Quick team meeting on the mound. That's still a three ball, two strike count, two outs. Runners on, runner on third, I should say. Pyle looks back in. Payoff pitch on the way, swing and a miss. And she gets the strikeout, and that ends the inning. However, five runs were plated in the top of the inning. 
as the Stars will be in a little bit of a hole here when they come to bat in the bottom of the first inning. We'll take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. We are State Tech. We are hands-on education. When you choose the number one two-year college in the country, you know you will be ready for your career. That's why at State Tech, we say, from the classroom to your career, we are the employer's choice. We are State Tech. Baseman, Ryan Thibodeau, fifth in the lineup, shortstop, Mia Adreno. His first pitch to Throckmorton is low, ball one. Throckmorton, a sophomore from here in Columbia, played at Crowder College before this. She's ahead in the count, 1-0. Now she's going to hit a slow roller. It's going to go foul down the first baseline. I'll leave the count at 1-1. One and one. In the lineup, batting sixth, designated player, Lindsey Pika. Catching, batting seventh, Jaylee Garcia. Batting eighth, right field, Tatiana Hawkins. Playing center field, batting ninth, Olivia Williams. And then on the mound, of course, Claire Pyle. Getting the start for the Spartans, Shelby Seavers. Get her line in just a minute. That pitch swung on and missed, so that'll take the count to one ball, two strikes. For Seavers, she's a senior from... Said from Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Played at Poplar Bluff High School. They do pull the infield in for Throckmorton here. One ball, two strike count. She'll slice that one foul. So we'll do one, two again. And do up here, Throckmorton, Husky, and Olvida. Throckmorton again digs into the batter's box. Deep in the left-hand box. She'll choke up. A little bit on her bat. 1-2 offering. That one downstairs and outside. I'll leave in the count. Two balls, two strikes. And wind continuing to blow here at Battle High School, which is where the Stars play their softball games at. Blowing from right to left, which means it's blowing out of left field, which is where we've seen most of the long balls today. That one popped up in the air. Catcher going back on it. She'll make the grab. Does Prather for out number one. So now this will be left fielder Lauren Husky. Husky, a senior from here in Columbia, also played at Westminster College. She had a couple of diving plays in left field in game one of our two games here. So first offering to her, that one low and outside, ball one. On deck circle, Arissa Olvita. She did not start game one, but came in for the uh, last inning in game one. So one ball, no strike. Count, one out. That one upstairs. That makes it a 2-0 count. Husky again will dig back in. 2-0 offering, forthcoming from Seavers. That one's going to be a ball sent right up the middle. It's going to get through, so she'll be standing on first base with a one-out single. So she'll be standing at first base, trying to get a little spark going for the Stars offense here. This will be second baseman Arissa Olvida stepping in now for Olvida. She's a freshman from San Antonio, Texas, playing at Wagner High School. So first offering to her is low, ball one, as Husky started to go to second, but put the brakes on, decided... She wasn't going to go just yet. One ball, two strike count. Again, one out here in the bottom of the first inning. 
Next offering to Ovita. That one inside. Sun makes it a 2 0 count. In the on deck circle, the third baseman, Raya Thibodeau. So two balls, no strikes, the count. One out, runner on first. Next offering on its way. A bouncing ball is going to be gloved by the second baseman. Throw to first. Just one out there, but that does move Husky over to second base. So that moves Husky to second. Now stepping in is Mariah Thibodeau playing third base. Thibodeau, a junior from Dale City, Oklahoma. Also played at Murray State College as well. First offering to her outside, ball one. Yeah, Drano, the shortstop. It's in the on deck circle for the Stars. So one ball, no strike count. Again, two outs here, runner on second base. Thibodeau steps back in. On the right hand side of the plate, she's going to foul that one in the air. Third baseman going over, making the grab and foul territory. That will be out. Number three. As no runs plated, but did have one hit. Oh, here's one left on base, so we'll go to the second inning. Stars still trail by a score of 5 to nothing. As we'll take a quick break and be back, you're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at Sawdust. Sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community woodshop. As a former veteran, for two years I tried to get my disability and nothing worked. Then I called Wes Swinigan and he got the results that I really needed. I hear stories like this all the time where people are overwhelmed with the system. As a former Social Security attorney, I will help you get the benefits that you deserve. Russ Swanigan lives and works in mid-Missouri, and he's here to help you. The help you deserve for the you earn the law offices of Russ Swanigan. We'll go to the top of the second inning as the Spartans lead by a score of five to nothing. Go back to the top of the lineup as well as it'll be batters one, two, and three set to come to the plate. We'll start off with shortstop Ellie Wessel. She reached safely in the first inning. She's going to rip that one to Thibodeau. Catches that. Hot shot ball to her for out number one. One pitch, one out. Now this will be left fielder Megan Pfeiffer. She had a single. In her first at bat, she's going to slice that one foul. It'll get out of play on the third base side, so she'll be down in the count at 0-1. She also did score in the first inning on that three-run shot by Colby Brake. No balls, one strike count. One out here as we play in the top of the second. That pitch, she's going to lift that one in the air. Coming over on it, converging, nobody makes the grab. There were three Stars players there by second base, and it bounced in between all three of them. So we'll see what the official scorekeeper says, if that's an error, and who it's on. Well, definitely an error, just not sure who it's on. Now this will be Colby Brake. She's one for one with a three RBI home run so far in game two. In game one, she had a two RBI home run. First pitch to her, ball one. Pretty quiet after that, looking at my sheet. There's another one that's a monster hit in the air, but foul. The thing ends up out of the park, but foul. She had a 
home run in the first inning as well in game one, but then struck out a couple of times. Remainder of the game, she'll rip that one again, foul down the third base line. A little closer to being in play. So that'll still be a one ball, two strike count here for her. Again, one out here as we play in the top of the second inning. The Spartans lead by a score of five to nothing. Next delivery from Pyle. That one bounces across home plate. That'll even the count at two balls and two strikes. And yesterday, beautiful day at the ballpark. Today, also a beautiful day here at Battle High School. Just a little bit windy. A 2-2 offering from Pyle, forthcoming. She gets the sign. It's on its way. Swing and a miss. We're out. Number two, that's the second strikeout of the game for Pyle. Pfeiffer does head on down to second. She gets credit for a stolen base. Now pitcher Shelby Seavers steps in. First pitcher, her rips that one foul down the third baseline. She'll be down to the count at 0-1. She was hit by a pitch in her first at bat. Momentary stoppage, don't have any more softballs in the pocket of the home plate umpire. So those two that were rocketed foul at previous pitch and the one by Baker, both still need to be retrieved. That pitch outside. Evens the count to one ball and one strike. And two outs here in the inning. That pitch misses on the inside part of the plate. Two balls, one strike. Thibodeau playing in maybe a step on third. Brock Morton will take a step or two in on first. There's a high fly ball. That's going to go foul. Coming over onto this Husky. She'll make the grab for out number three in foul territory. As that will take us to the end of the top of the second inning. We'll take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. There are things in life you should always do. Always say please and thank you. Always get a good night's rest and always take care of your teeth. After all, you're only given one set of permanent teeth to last you a lifetime. Southwest Dental Care is always the place to go for the highest quality dental care. They offer comprehensive general and cosmetic dentistry services for all patients of all ages. Their experienced and compassionate team is there to help you achieve lifelong oral health and a stunning smile. To find out more about Southwest Dental Care, call them at 573 573- 634-4909 or visit southwestdentalcarejc.com to get the best smile in town you mustache to Southwest Dental Care. Liberal Christian Academy has been providing a strong biblical foundation and academic excellence within a Christian environment for more than 15 years. Located in Jefferson City, Riverwell Christian Academy offers kinder prep through sixth grade that prepares students to impact the world for Christ. Average class sizes are just 16 students with the student body comprised of families from over 30 area churches. Kinder prep offerings include three and five full day sessions with kindergarten offering half day and full day programs. To find out more about Riverwell Christian Academy, call them at 573-634-3983. We'll go to the bottom of the second inning here. Batters five, six, and seven do up. This is Mia Drano, the shortstop. First pitch to her. Swung on, maybe kind of seemed of it. She'll be down in the count at 0-1 for Drano. She's a sophomore from San Antonio, Texas. Went to Wagner High School, so she's a little ways away from home right now, but having a good college career here in Columbia. That one's going to be a slow roller back to the pitcher. She'll glove and throw over to first base. For one three put out for out number one. Now designated player Lindsey Pika will step in as Pika, a freshman from St. Peter's, Missouri, played at St. Charles Community College before coming here. In the on deck circle, catcher Jaylee Garcia. First offering to Pika upstairs, outside ball one. 
Five runs, four hits, no errors for Missouri Baptist. For Stevens, no runs, one hit, two errors on the day so far. It's, again, it's a 5-0 lead in favor of the Spartans. There's a big swing and a miss. I'm leaving the count at one ball and one strike. Again, one out here as we play in the bottom of the second inning. Stars looking to split the doubleheader here after they lost game one by a score of eight to nothing. One one offering. That one misses upstairs. That'll make it two balls and one strike. So two one offering. That one's going to be a slow roller foul down the third baseline. So that'll make it two balls and two strikes. Pika takes a couple of practice swings outside the box. Now she'll step back in. So two and two the count. One out here. Seavers long look in. Now she gets the sign. It's going to be another slow roller down the third base line. It's going to go foul. So still a 2-2 count. As Pika will jog back to the batter's box. Try this again. And two balls and two strikes the count. One out. Next offering. That one's going to be hit to the shortstop. One hop there. Glove throw to first in time. Round number two. That goes the 6-3 put out. That will be catcher Jaylee Garcia stepping in. That's Garcia, freshman from San Antonio, Texas, by way of Wagner High School. So she's got a couple of at least one fellow Wagner High School teammate. First pitch called strike one. So Garcia will be down in the count. And no balls and one strike. Again, two outs here as we play in the bottom of the second. A one offering, that one upstairs. That'll leave in the count. One ball and one strike. One ball, one strike count. Garcia will step back in. Two outs here. Take a big swing at that. No connection. So she'll be down in the count at one and two. Severs will step off. Work the rosin a little bit. So one, two offering. There's going to be a slow roller back to Severs. She'll glove throw to first in time. She retires the side. This is a 1-3 put out. That will be three up and three down. Again, no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. We will go to the third inning. As the Stars still trail by a score of five to nothing. We'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Perfect, right? Actually, we were thinking of Rome. I know an agent there. Look at this view. This place is unbelievable. It's beautiful. We've been looking at Jamaica. Uh-huh. I know an agent there. Welcome to Jamaica. We <laughs> oh, love, it. love it. But we're thinking about Tokyo. Uh-huh. I know a guy. You know an agent too. That's Kathy Rush at Remax Jefferson City. Call her today at 573-761-3405. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market. Anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business the top of the third inning now still a 5-0 score it was five runs played it in the top of the first inning for the spartans they'll send batters five six and seven to the plate this will be tate morris and archer as first pitch and they're called strike one as pile still on the mound for the stars here entering her third Inning of work. Oh, one offering on its way. That one's going to be a ball lifted into left field and over to make the grab as Husky for out number one. 
Husky tracks it down now, third baseman. And Kaylee Morris will step in. She had an RBI double. Her only at bat, so she's one for one on the day so far. Pyle looks in, gets the sign, her first offering. Bounces across home plate, ball one. Again, five runs on just four hits and no errors for the Spartans for the Stars. No runs, one hit, and two errors. A 1-0 count. Next offering. That one drops in there for called strike one. So that'll even the count of one ball and one strike. In just a few minutes after 2.30 here. Let Gazaway with you. 1-1 offering. That one's going to be ripped foul down the third base line. So that'll make it one ball, two strikes to count. In just a little after 2.30 here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gazaway here with you. Glad you're tuned in. Hopefully you're enjoying today's broadcast. Whether you're listening on the Show Me Sports Network app or a media center, there's a big swing and a miss. Round number two. However you may be tuning in today, we're just glad you're tuned in. Like I said, whether it be on the app or the media center. So two outs here. As Pyle... Looking to make it a one, two, three inning. First pitch in there to Archer, ball one. This will be the first one, two, three inning she would have here. So far, of course, we're still pretty early in the game. That one's going to be a ball hit foul. Got a foot foul over the third base side. And if you're Join the broadcast today. Be sure and head over to our social media page. Just search for Show Me Sports Network on Facebook. You can give us a like. Give us a share while you're there. We appreciate the support. Appreciate you tuning in. So one ball, a one strike count. Pyle looks back in. Next offering on its way. That one will be fouled off the other direction. So Archer will be down in the count. One ball, two strikes. And Pyle looking to get out of the inning. In one, two, three fashion. So she'll tow the rubber again. Archer stares her down. Kyle gets the sign. A one, two offering on its way. That one low and inside. I'll even the count. Two balls, two strikes. In a windy day here at the ballpark, wind blowing right to left on your app or media center, wherever you're listening. That one's going to be fouled out of play. Well, that'll still keep the count. Two balls, two strikes. So Pyle will once again look in. She'll get the sign from Garcia. 2-2 two, two offering, that one low. So it'll go full, three balls and two strikes. Again, two outs here in the top of the third inning. The uh, Spartans lead by a score of 5 to nothing over the Stars. Payoff pitch, that one's cranked foul again on the third base side. Again, a full count here, three balls and two strikes. So Pyle again toes the rubber. She looks in, payoff pitch on its way. That one called strike three, so she fans... The third batter of the inning there has two strikeouts along the way, one swinging, one looking. So we'll take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! 
At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions we go to the bottom of the third inning again stars trailing by a score of five to nothing here looking to split the doubleheader after they lost game one between these two teams First pitch to Hawkins. She'll hit a slow roller back to the pitcher over to first in time for out number one. This will be batters eight, nine, and one due up. Now this will be center fielder Olivia Williams coming in. She will step in on the left-hand side of the plate. First at bat she's had today. She'll show bunt. Goes foul. She'll be down in the count. No balls and one strike again. Seavers on the mound for the Spartans. She has produced several ground balls back to herself to get the out at first. That one's going to be another slow roller. It's going to get through and get into center field as Williams will be standing on first base as Layers playing in for her. She just gives a little slug bunt, gets it past everybody. So she'll be standing on first base with a single. Now we'll go back to the top of the lineup with Annabelle Throckmorton, the first baseman for the Stars. Stars trying to get a little rally going here with one out as they trail by a score of five to nothing. Seavers looks over, gets the signal from the dugout. There's going to be a bouncing ball from Throckmorton and it's going to be an out now for Throckmorton as she gets safely on third as Williams gets to second. However, she goes to third, gets thrown out there. Throckmorton goes to second on that. So Not put an error on that because... Williams was going to second base and basically kind of screened off. But was in her right place on the base path. This will be Lauren Husky now due up. First pitch her ball one. She was in the right position and second baseman bobbled it after she got it. There's going to be a little blooper that's foul. About a foot down the first base line. So that will be one ball, one strike count. Again, two outs here. Rock Morton standing on second base. A 1-1 offering to Husky. That one bounces through the catcher's legs. So that'll be a wild pitch. Rock Morton will go to third on that wild pitch. So two balls, one strike to count. And Husky at bat. Do one offering. That one's downstairs. That takes ball three now. And one strike to count. In two outs, runners on third. With Rock Morton on third. Husky at bat here. Long look from Sievers to the dugout. She'll shake her head. Now she'll step off the rubber, not liking the decision. She'll reset the signs there. Now she'll get what she's looking for. 3 1 offering. That one called strike two. So we'll go full three balls and two strikes. In two outs here, runner on third base. That's Rock Morton. 3 2 offering. There's going to be a ball hit into right field and off the glove of the right fielder so it'll be extra bases and an RBI is sliding into second 
He is Husky with an RBI double. And she sends that into right field. She's going to get an RBI there as Throckmorton will come home and score. In that base running air by Williams. Costly there because she would have probably scored. So now this will be Arissa Olvida. First pitch to her on the inside part of the plate for strike one. So the Stars have cut this five-run deficit down to four at five to one now. Looking to chip away a little more. Olvida down in the count 0-1. Next offering. That one misses. Evens the count one ball, one strike. She'll step out, take a couple of practice swings. Here again, the wind picking up. Seavers long look in here. Two outs. That pitch in the called strike two in the inside part of the plate. Would say I've got the home plate umpire strike zone figured out, but as soon as I say that, he'll change it. One ball, two strike count. Seavers looks back. Gets the sign. Next pitch. That one was low. They'll throw back to second. Back safely is Husky. Good heads up play there by Archer. Seavers will go back to the Rosen bag. Now she'll tow the rubber again. Gets the sign from the dugout. 2 2 offering. It's going to be a slow roller, and it's going to be taken at first. Just trickles down the line. Step on the bag for out number three. That goes as a three unassisted. So in the inning, there was one run plated, a couple of hits as well. So that lead cut down to four at five to one for the Spartans who will come to bat. We'll take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time and running out of some of your favorite makeup, fragrances, or skincare products? No need to worry. Avon representative Michelle Carty has got you covered. Michelle can consult with you on the newest line of products as well as get those that have become your must-haves. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 from the comfort of your own home and have your order shipped directly to your front door. To see how Michelle can help you out, find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. Live beautifully with Avon. We go to the top of the fourth inning. That's first pitch. From Pyle is called strike one. It'll be batters eight, nine, and one. This is Isabella Limler. That one misses. That evens the count on one ball and one strike. One ball, one strike to count. And lead off batter. There's going to be a ball ripped into left field. Husky comes over, makes the grab for out. Number one. But now stepping in. This will be Molly McFeeders. So she's going to hit a hard hit ball. It'll get through into left field. Husky as it bounced a couple times to her. So McFeeders will be on first base with a one out single. Now we'll go back to the top of the lineup with shortstop Ellie Wessel. Wessel will lay down a bunt and struck Morton will glove, throw to first, and they say not in time. They say it took 
Ovita off the bag. She was covering for first as Rockmorton comes crashing down. That'll be an infield single. Now this will be left fielder Megan Pfeiffer. And 5-1 score in favor of the Spartans. That one's going to be fouled out of play by Pfeiffer. So she'll be down to the count at 0-1. I don't think she really is intending to swing at that. Tried to check swing, but clipped the bat. So she'll be down to the count at 0-1. That one's going to be outside. Double steal is on. Everybody will be safe. So double steal there. So now it'll be runners on second and third. Down even and one ball, one strike to Pfeiffer. She'll bunt it, foul. Go on the third base side. So she'll be down to the count, one ball, two strikes. She'll dig back in. Again, left-handed batter. One out here, two runners on. So we play in the top of the fourth. That pitch upstairs. Got her to back off the plate. Evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. So Pyle looks back in. 2-2 offering. That one's going to be Hit down the third base line, but foul. So still a two ball and two strike count. As Pyle will get the softball back. She'll stand on the rubber. 2 2 offering on its way. That one bounces across home plate. It'll get by Garcia. And that'll be a run scored on a wild pitch. Wessel moves over to third base. And there's going to be a bouncing ball. It'll be over Pyle's head and into center field. So it'll be an RBI single for Pfeiffer. So she'll get credit for an RBI single. So now stepping in will be a Colby Brake in the lead back. Up at 7 1. There's a slow roller to Olvita at second. She gloves throws to first. 4 3 put out for out number two. Well, the score should be 7-1. to one. That pitch inside on the first offering to Seavers. So she'll be heading the count at 1-0. and oh. As two runs have been plated here in the top of the fourth inning. 7-1. That one in there for called strike one. One ball, one strike count. There's one that's ripped foul down the third baseline. So, again, one ball, two strike count. In two outs here in the inning. So Pyle looking to get out of this inning here after giving up a couple of runs. In the on-deck circle is Tate. That pitch misses outside. So we'll go even at two balls and two strikes. Pyle looks back in, 2-2 offering. That one's hit a mile in the air. and goes into the little swamp over behind the third base. So that one is gone forever. So 2-2 offering. It's going to be a slow roller. It's going to get off the glove of a diving Adreno. That'll score another run. 
She laid out for it, but could not get it into the webbing, and that'll score another run. She laid out for it, though, gave every effort she could. So it's an RBI single for receivers. Throw over, she'll be back in time. So two outs here. This is now designated player Haley Tate. And it's now an 8-1 to one score. So two outs here in the inning. Next offering. That one upstairs. Seaver's going to go to second, and they're going to have her as she was headed to second base and gets caught stealing. She is caught stealing. So we will take a quick break and be back. It's now an 8-1 to one score in favor of... The Spartans says, we'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? We go to the bottom half of the fourth inning here. As the Stars trail 8-1. to one. As Thibodeau will be the first batter, she'll sky it. It'll be in the air caught on the pitching mound for out number one. Now this will be uh, batters, 4, 5, and 6 due up. So that was Thibodeau to lead it off. Then Adreno and Pika. And yeah, Adreno, the shortstop. She is 0 for 1, hit into a 1-3 put out. She's going to sky that one a mile high. It is going to go out of play. That will be strike number 1. So Adreno will step back in. Get down in the count at 0-1. She'll take that second pitch to her. She'll foul it down the third base line. So she will be down in the count at 0-2. Again, one out here. Pika in the on-deck circle for the Stars. They trail 8-1. to one. Looking over getting the sign is Seavers. That one misses. Makes it one ball, two strikes. An eight to one advantage. Five runs for the Spartans in the top of the first and three in the top of the fourth. Pitches upstairs and outside. That'll leave in the count at two balls, two strikes. Receivers again look over at the dugout to get a sign. 2-2 offering. That one misses. Ball three. So now we go full. And a 3-2 count. Again, one out here as we play. Bottom of the fourth inning. That one's going to be a foul down the first baseline. So it'll still stay full. Three balls and two strikes. to retrieve that ball for play. Seavers again gets the sign from the dugout. A payoff pitch will be forthcoming. Now it's on its way. That one's going to be fouled out of play as well. So we'll still do the uh, payoff pitch again. And wind picking up here. Very hard right now from right to left. That one's going to be fouled as well down the first baseline. So 
This upcoming pitch, this is going to be the ninth of the at-bat. Adreno fouled off several of these. Still a full count of three and two. Payoff pitch on its way. That one swung on and missed for out number two. Well, this, this will be designated player Lindsey Pika. She's 0 for 1, hit into a 6-3 put out. And her only at bat so far today. So two outs here. The bottom of the fourth, she's going to hit that one, go over the head of the third baseman. So Pika will have a two-out single here in the bottom of the fourth. Now catcher, Jaylee Garcia. She's 0 for 1. Here in game two. Actually, substitution here. Maisie Billups. First pitch called strike one. That pitch way outside. Not leaving the count. One ball, one strike. They did throw over to first base, but Pika back safely. Phillips, a freshman from down the road of Marceline, Missouri. By the way, Marceline R5. That pitch called strike two. So it'll be one ball, two strike count. And two outs here, runner on first base. That's Pika. Phillips brought in the hit here. She swings and misses for out number three. No runs. Did have one hit. No errors and one left on base. We'll go to the fifth inning to work. We'll go to the top of the fifth here when we come back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball. Here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. We are State Tech. We are hands-on education. When you choose the number one two-year college in the country, you know you will be ready for your career. That's why at State Tech, we say, from the classroom to your career, we are the employer's choice. We are State Tech. We go to the uh, top of the fifth inning now. It'll be batters five, six, and seven will come to plate here. First pitch here to designated player in Haley Tate. This is ball one. She was at the plate when... Sievers was caught stealing. That one called strike one, so even the count of one and one. Sievers was caught stealing at second base for the third out, so count even one and one. And have a, a pitching change on the mound, too. Grace Tath on the mound. That one's going to be a little number. Bounce. In front of home plate, throw to first is wide of the money. Going to be a tough play anyways. I'm going to give that a single a hit. So that will be a third baseman, and Kaylee Morris will be due up. And then Natalie Archer, the catcher. First pitch, that one upstairs and outside, ball one. Said Grace Taft's now on the mound. She's a freshman from Bellevue, Iowa. 
Went to K Catholic High School. That one called strike two. Sorry, that one actually just strike one evens the count at one and one. An eight to one score. There's going to be a bouncing ball. It'll be taken at second. No throw over to first. As Pika then shifted over into the designated from the designated player role over to shortstop. And that'll also be Natalie Archer. First pitch to her called strike one. That one's going to be foul tip throw to first. Back safely. Right fielder, Isabella Schimler in the on deck circle. That one called strike three. Route number two. Archer is rung up with the backwards K. Now this right fielder, Isabel. Limmer steps in now. Schlimmer. One for two. That first pitch upstairs, ball one. And an RBI double in the first inning, then struck out. Sorry, not uh, she uh, flew out to left field in the fourth inning. That pitch outside makes it 2-0 and count. And two outs here. Runner on first base as we play in the top of the fifth inning. 8-1 to one score in favor of the Spartans. That pitch just misses. All three. So three balls, no strikes. And Taft looks in, gets the sign. Her next offering, that one called strike one on the outside part of the plate. So three balls, one strike now. Two outs here, again, runner on first base. That one, and therefore called strike two. Slimmer wanted to swing at that, but did not. So full count now, three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch, bouncing ball is going to be off the glove. At second, and everybody will be safe. I think that's very similar to the play that all the stars have in their favor. And that also be center fielder Molly McFeeters. In a single, her last at bat. This pitcher called strike one, struck out in her first at bat in the top of the first inning. A one offering. That one upstairs, that evens the count. One ball and one strike. Again, top of the order will go in the on deck circle. Shortstop, Ellie Wessel. That one's going to be a hard hit ball, and it's going to be gloved and throw to second to get the out. Ovita, nice diving stop there. Throws to Pika covering the bag from shortstop to end the inning. That goes as a 4-6 out for out number three. Well, in the inning, there were no runs. A couple of hits. There were a couple left on base. As we will go to the sixth inning, or sorry, the uh, bottom of the fifth inning. I had myself here. Bottom of the fifth inning, we'll go. We'll take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage, Star Softball, here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community woodshop. As a former veteran, for two years I tried to get my disability and nothing worked. Then I called Wes Flanagan and he got the results that I really needed. I hear stories like this all the time where people are overwhelmed with the system. As a former Social Security attorney, I will help you get the benefits that you deserve. Russ Swanigan lives and works in Mid-Missouri, and he's here to help you. The help you deserve for the benefits you've earned. The law offices of Russ Swanigan. That play underway here in the bottom of the fifth inning. First pitch fouled off to Hawkins. That one. Low and outside, that'll even the count. Got one ball and one strike. She'll be even at one ball, one strike. They'll reach out, swing at that one, but did not connect with it. So she'll be down on the count, one ball, two strikes. We batters eight, nine, and one do up here for the Stars. That one low. It's not even to count at two and two. Hawkins 0 for 1 today. She hit into a 1 3 out. She hit it back to Severs, who threw over first. She'll step deep in the batter's box. 1 2 offering. That one's going to be uh, blooped into left field over the third baseman's head. And Hawkins will be standing on first base with a leadoff single. Stars trying to get a little rally here as they trail by a score of 8-1. to one. So Clock says 3-10, so just after, 10 minutes after 3 o'clock mark, Sardine reaching about the hour mark or so. 8-1 to one in favor of the Spartans. This is Olivia Williams, first pitch to her called strike one. Williams takes back in. Down on the count, 0 and 1. That one outside. She pulls the bat back on that. So again, Hawkins on first base with the leadoff single. Williams has a 1 1 count on her at home plate. She'll hit that one. It'll be gloved by the second baseman. Flip it over to first for fielder's choice there for out number one. I'll be 4-3 out at first. Now top of the lineup, Annabelle Throckmorton again steps in. She scored a run. She's one for two on her day today here in game two. She'll take that pitch way upstairs for ball one. In eight runs, three hits, one error, four. Sorry, eight runs, eight hits, I should say. Let me try that again. The sun makes it okay. Eight runs on nine hits. Swung on and missed. So eight runs, nine hits, one error for Missouri Baptist for Stevens. One run, four hits, two errors on the day. So count even at one and one. Again, Hawkins on second base. That one's going to be a bouncing ball again taken by the second baseman. And it'll be safe as she mishandles it. Trickles out of her glove. So Throckmorton will be standing on first base. So now it'll be first and third now with runners on the corners. This will be Lauren Husky, the left fielder stepping in now. So runners on the corners here with one out. Rock Morton's going to go down to second. They'll throw down there. Bad decision as it goes into center field. So that'll score a run. And 
Brock Morton will be down at second, at uh, third rather. That goes as an E2. Brock Morton will get credit for a stolen base and an E2. We'll put her on third. That one in there for called strike one. Archer airmails that into center field. So now it'll be one ball and one strike. Stars cut that seven-run deficit down to six now at eight to two. Now it's going to be a well-hit ball off the glove of the third baseman. That'll score another run. As Husky blisters one, she's got a three-for-three three day. She blisters that into left field. She gets credit for an RBI. This will be sub in here. This will be Jillian Hale. Jillian Hale will be into the ball game now, the freshman. Long conversation on the mound here. Just to take a drink. Hydration break for myself. So again, two runs have been plated now here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Now an 8-3 to three ball game. Stars trying to chip away a little more at this advantage the Spartans have had as Husky has a three-for-three three day, including two RBIs, has two singles and a double. This will be a sub in here as Jillian Hale. Steps in now, Seavers. Looking around on the mound. So one out here as we play in the bottom of the fifth inning. Husky on first. She's going to take off her second. Throw down to first, but she's back safely. First pitch to Hale called strike one. That'll be no balls and one strike. Again, one out runner on first. Next offering on its way. That one's going to be hit off the uh, hands, and it'll get into right field as Hale legs that out. Got past the first baseman. I think she saw a good read on it as Husky was down there. This will be another substitution here. Instead of Thibodeau, this will be Lindsey Hood now. First pitch to her, called strike one. But a junior from Mount Vernon, Missouri. That pitch upstairs and outside. I'll make the count even at one ball, one strike. In eight to three, the score in favor of the Spartans. Looks like we'll have another sub as well for the next batter. That's going to be a bouncing ball. It'll be gloved by Seaver sort of first for out number two. This is a one three put out. This will be Grace Taft. So two outs here. First pitch to her. She's going to line that one. Bounce into center field. It'll score one run. They'll put the brakes on. So she'll have a two-out RBI single. So now stepping in, this will be designated player Lindsey Pika. She got a single her last time up. She was one for two. 
That now cuts that deficit down to four at eight to four. She's going to hit that one a mile in the air. Sievers calls everybody off. She'll make the grab for out number three. As that will end the inning. Took eight batters to go through the frame before we got the final out. Or three runs plated by the Stars as well. Leave two on the base path. So they trail eight to four. We're going to take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. There are things in life you should always do. Always say please and thank you. Always get a good night's rest and always take care of your teeth. After all, you're only given one set of permanent teeth to last you a lifetime. Southwest Dental Care is always the place to go for the highest quality dental care. They offer comprehensive general and cosmetic dentistry services for all patients of all ages. Their experienced and compassionate team is there to help you achieve lifelong oral health and a stunning smile. To find out more about Southwest Dental Care, call them at 573 6 634-4909 or visit southwestdentalcarejc.com to get the best smile in town you mustache to Southwest Dental Care. Liberal Christian Academy has been providing a strong biblical foundation and academic excellence within a Christian environment for more than 15 years. Located in the Jefferson City, Riverwell Christian Academy offers kinder prep through sixth grade that prepares students to impact the world for Christ. Average class sizes are just 16 students with the student body comprised of families from over 30 area churches. Kinder prep offerings include three and five full day sessions with kindergarten offering half day and full day programs. To find out more about Riverwell Christian Academy, call them at 573-634-3983. A play underway here in the top of the sixth inning. First pitch, you know, top of the lineup. First pitch to Wessel. She pops out to the shortstop. So he batters one, two, and three. This will be Megan Pfeiffer. First pitch to her ball one. She can hit a bouncing ball and gloved it short, backhanded, but no throw. That will be a one out single for Pfeiffer. She's reached base safely all four times she's been to bat. That'll also be first baseman Colby Brake. First pitch, this is ball one. So eight to four score in favor of the Spartans. That one also misses. Evens account. Sorry, takes that count to two balls, no strikes. Again, one out, runner on first base here. So we play in the top of the sixth inning. Next pitch from Taft. This is ball three. Shelby Seavers in the on-deck circle. She'll show a bunch. She'll pull it back. Strike two. They're going to throw down to second. Ball bounces there. Stolen base for Pfeiffer. So break will still be ahead in the count. Three balls, one strike. Again, one out here. Pfeiffer now down at second base. Next pitch. She's going to hit that one. High fly ball coming over. And center field making the grab. Is Williams for out. Number two. So now this will be uh, Shelby Seavers. She's the starting pitcher for game two here. An RBI single and was caught stealing on the same. I've hit by pitch her first time at bat. That one misses. Ball one. Again, two outs here as we play in the top of the sixth inning. That one misses on the outside part of the plate. So I'm going to make it a 2-0 count. That one upstairs. Makes it a 3-0 count. Taft trying to settle down here, get out of the inning. That one in there for called strike one. 
to get out of the inning with facing one more than the minimum. Again, 8-4 to four score right now. Next offering, that one's going to be a bouncing ball foul down the third baseline. So that will make it a full count of three balls and two strikes. Again, two outs here. Runner on second base. That's Pfeiffer. They have pitch on the way. That one inside. They'll throw down to third and no tag applied. So it'll be a walk and a stolen base. It heads up play there by Pfeiffer. Throw was down, but... Couldn't get the tag on. Now designated player Haley Tate will be due up. She's got runners on the corners here with two outs. She had a single her last time at bat. Flew out to left, flew out to center. In her previous two at bats. The on deck circle, Kaylee Morris, the third baseman. Again, runners on the corners at first and third. Two outs here in the top of the sixth inning. She'll show bunt. Strike one. Will be a stolen base there for Seavers. Maybe it hit Tate, but home plate umpire going to have a conversation. I think that's what he's saying is that it hit her. I thought it did. So the home plate umpire is going to walk out, talk to the other umpire who's over on the third base side. They're going to have a conversation to see if that hit her or not. So they say it's strike one. That's what they determine. Still another conversation with the third base coach. Wanting some clarification. Might be saying it was a foul tip as well. So no balls, one strike count. Again, two outs here. Runners now at second and third in scoring position. Next pitch. That one misses outside. Ball one. So I'll even the count of one ball and one strike. Taff will step off the mound. Now she'll tow the rubber. Next offering, that one fouled out of play. Billups behind home plate now. That pitch swung on and missed. Out. Number three. So no runs allowed. Two left stranded on the base path. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. It's perfect, right? Actually, we were thinking of Rome. I know an agent there. Look at this view. This place is unbelievable. It's beautiful. We've been looking at Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I know an agent there. Welcome to Jamaica. We love, oh, we it. love it. But we're thinking about Tokyo. Mm -hmm. I know a guy. You know an agent, too. That's Kathy Rush at REMAX Jefferson City. Call her today at 573-761-3405. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market. Anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, a veteran-owned business. There we go to the 
bottom of the sixth inning. This is better here. This will be uh, Dunnick again. First pitch to her misses ball one. Dunnick from California, freshman. Even count one and one, she's going to lift that one. And coming over, making the grab for out number one as the second baseman. Out number one, I'm trying to update my scorebook here. Now this will be uh, right fielder Tatiana Hawkins. She had a single her last time up. Scored a run, was a 1-3 out before that, so one for two today. One for two day. Having a run as well, that one misses ball one. Long look in to get the sign from Seavers. That one's gonna be uh, lifted. Coming in, making the grab. Out over near third base is the shortstop for out number two. Now this will be Olivia Williams. She steps in with two outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And it's an eight to four lead. First pitch to her. Inside ball one. One zero offering. Said she went around on that one, so that evens the count at one and one. She tried to hold up, but could not. One one offering. That one inside chops out of the way. That takes it two balls and one strike. And Hawkins digs back in. Two one offering on its way. Reaches out, cuts at that one with no connection. So that'll take the count to two balls and two strikes. Two two count. Seaver's next offering. That one's going to be fouled into the dugout for the Stars. But we'll do the two two pitch again. This past 3.30 here, Blake Gasway here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hopefully you're enjoying today's broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network. Glad you're tuned in. A pitch downstairs will go full. If you have not done so yet, be sure and head over to our Facebook page. Just search for the Show Me Sports Network and give our page a like and give it a share as well while you're there. Payoff pitch. That one called strike three. Three up and three down. As that ends the inning. The inning, no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. We'll go to the next frame here. As we'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! 
At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions lay underway here ready in the top of the seventh inning as it'll be banner six seven and eight this will be morris then archer then swimmer and that one's going to be hit into uh, right field for a leadoff single Morris will be uh, standing on first base with a leadoff single now. This will be catcher Natalie Archer. She is 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and an out that was caught at third base. First pitch, inside ball one. Brock Morton playing a couple steps in at first. Thibodeau looks like she's about even with the bag. Maybe a step in. That next pitch out upstairs. They'll throw back. Ball squirted out of the glove of Throckmorton. It's just about caught Morris too far from the bag there. So two balls, no strikes to count. Next pitch. That one low misses ball three. That'll be a 3-0 count now. So three balls, no strikes to count. Nobody out. That one on the inside part of the plate for strike one. And three balls, one strike. The count now. Morris on first base. In a leadoff single here. That one hits her. So Archer is hit by pitch. That also be right fielder, Isabella Schlimmer. Schlimmer will have two on, nobody out here. Her team leads by a score eight to four. First pitch to her, she'll show bunt. She'll... Just catch a couple of seams with that. Couldn't put it in place, so she'll be down in the count at 0-1. She'll step back in. Right-handed batter. She'll take a big cut and a miss at that one for strike two. Well, now she'll step back in. There's a big cut and a miss for strike three. And out number one. So that'll be center fielder Molly McFeeters. She steps in here. And beautiful day at the ballpark, just windy. First pitch to her called strike one. Taffy get on the mound, throw back to second, safe there. So McFeeders will be down in the count at 0 1. She's going to hit a well hit ball. Right field going back on it, making the grab is Hawkins. She'll throw as runner at second will advance to third. A lot of we runners on the corners with two outs here. Top the lineup. We'll go again as this will be Wessel. Runners at first and third. Wessel shows butt, takes it back. They throw down to third. No tag applied is also Archer takes second. So 
One ball, no strike count. Taff looks back in. Next pitch. That one's going to be popped up in the air. Going back on it at shortstop, making the grab for out number three. In the inning, it was one hit. No runs. No errors. And there was two left on base. As we'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time and running out of some of your favorite makeup, fragrances, or skincare products? No need to worry. Avon representative Michelle Carty has got you covered. Michelle can consult with you on the newest line of products as well as get those that have become your must-haves. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 from the comfort of your own home and have your order shipped directly to your front door. To see how Michelle can help you out, find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. Live beautifully with Avon. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. The Stars have to find a way to score four runs to take us into extra frames. As it'll be top of the lineup will go. We'll see some substitutions here. First pitch miss or called strike one. This is Kaylee Cruz batting now. Is subbed in for Throckmorton. 1-1 one, one offering. She's going to slow roller. It'll be gloved by Sievers. She'll throw to first. And not in time is dropped by the first baseman. Tough throw, tough play there. So Cruz will be standing on first base. That'll also be left fielder Lauren Husky. is due up in the on-deck circle. Should be Hale. Check to see who that is in a second. So one on, nobody out here. In the bottom of the second, Seavers long look into the dugout. First pitch. That one misses. Ball one. Again, eight to four the score. So one ball, no strike count. Seavers again, long look at the dugout for the sign. There's going to be a ball lifted into shallow center field. Going back on it for out number one is the shortstop. So now, stepping in, another sub. This is Kaylee Baker. Kaylee Baker has subbed in. First pitch, ball one. So one out here, still a four-run deficit. The Stars have to find a way to erase. Next offering, that one swung on and missed. Throw back to first. Back safely is Cruz. It'll be a one-ball, one-strike count. One out here as we play bottom of the seventh. Next pitch on its way, swung on and missed. Yeah, in front of that one was Baker. Thibodeau in the on-deck circle. One-two offering. That one outside and low. That'll take us to a two-ball, two-strike count. Sievers again goes back to the Rosin bag. Her Spartans leading by a score of eight to four. 
That one's going to be a bouncing ball. It'll be taken at second. She'll tag the runner, throw to first. To get the double play to end the inning. So Baker hits into a game-ending double play as Cruz is tagged at second. And thrown back to first on the double play. So the Stars drop their senior day double header. In both of their games here, as they drop this one by a score of 8-4. to four. So until we talk to you another time, as that's also the home finale in the regular season finale, until we talk to you again, Blake Gasway for the Show Me Sports Network here. So long and have a great rest of your afternoon.